Hi, this is Frank Darabont. Welcome to the black and white version of The Mist. Um, I, I always had it in mind, actually, to want to do The Mist in black and white because there's something about Stephen King's story that's a bit of a throwback. In fact, even he says uh, in an afterword he once wrote that uh, when he was writing the story, conceiving the story, he was inspired by those old grainy black and white Burt I. Gordon monster movies uh, of his youth. Uh, that, I think, has planted a, uh, a seed in my head, as well as uh, many of the fans of the story through the years, because I've heard that from a lot of people. Wouldn't it be cool to do the mist in black and white? So I always kind of wanted to do that. Of course, it's a hard argument to make with a studio, because not that many people are into black and white these days, which I think is a shame. Young Youngsters especially don't want to see anything in black and white. They think it's old-fashioned or out of date or, uh, you know, they think it doesn't look real. I've heard that one. That, to me, is what makes black and white so very cool. No, it doesn't look real. Um, film itself is, isn't is real. It's a, a heightened reality. It's manipulating light through a lens, you know, to create a, 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 a heightened recreation of reality. But to me, black and white takes that even one step further. Um, it gives you a view of the world that really doesn't exist in reality, and the only place you can see that representation of the world is in a black and white movie. So to me, this, this has always been a bit of a throwback to that mid-60s, Night of the Living Dead, pre-color Ray Harryhausen era of film. Uh, and I always wanted to do it in black and white. Luckily, nowadays, we don't actually have to make that choice. Nowadays, we can decide that we're going to put a black and white version on the DVD because uh, we don't really cut negative anymore. We go to what's called a DI. The Coen brothers did this with the man who wasn't there. They shot the movie in color, but they actually released it in black and white, which I thought was a fantastic-looking film. So now you can have both. Now a director can actually have both. And that's what the idea is here of this black and white version. The color version winds up being very cool. It winds up feeling very much like a mid-70s kind of movie to me, the kind of movie I, another kind of movie I grew up watching. But the black and white version feels like that mid-60s era version. The two, I feel, are completely different viewing experiences. Uh, I, I dig them both. But if there's something on this disc that one would consider the director's cut, or the director's version of the movie, it would have to be the black and white. It's my preferred version for uh, those of my uh, fellow film buffs and geeks who really dig black and white movies. This would be the version to watch, in, in my opinion. I really hope you enjoy the black and white of The Mist.